These are the A-team of herbs that can help you get to sleep and overcome insomnia. So what are they? Well, I'm gonna tell you today on Eccentric Nature. And now, the top 10 herbs for sleep. Number 10, Motherwort. Motherwort is considered the best herb to help people who get agitated and irritable fall asleep, as it is very efficient at balancing blood pressure and erasing heart syndrome. This member of the mint family affects your dopamine levels and can help reduce thyroid activity. So if you have any thyroid problems, you're gonna wanna be careful when taking motherwort. Russian researchers found that 80% of subjects with high blood pressure or sleep problems saw significant or moderate improvement in a low mood and related sleep trouble when they took motherwort. Number nine, kava kava. I actually thought about not having kava kava on this list. <gasps> How could you? I know, I know. One study found that participants who took kava kava for four weeks reported better quality of sleep and even felt more rejuvenated the next day. You see, the problem though is that kava kava is a very potent herb and you definitely need to be very careful about dosage and frequency of use. Also, kava kava has been linked with liver problems. So if you have any liver concerns at all, you're gonna need to avoid kava kava or consult your doctor before use. Number eight, hops. Hops contains methylbutanol, a chemical that can induce sleep when consumed. You can brew hops in tea, not beer, though the tea can get very bitter, so it's probably best to brew hops with other herbs, or at least a good dollop of honey. Another popular way of using it is by having your pillow filled with hops. The sleepy time properties of hops have actually been widely in use since the 1900s, when physicians used it as a sedative for insomnia caused by worry or weak nerves. Poppy. Poppies will put them to Number seven, the California poppy. Consider best for quelling restlessness. California poppies have orange, yellow, and red flowers that mainly thrive in dry conditions. It acts on your nervous system, relaxing your frazzled nerves so you can sleep. Research also suggests it works similarly to the Corydalis flower, in that the alkalides in both possess strong sedative qualities. California poppy isn't very safe during pregnancy, as it is another one of the very potent herbs on this list. So it's suggested that you only really use it occasionally when you really need that special night's sleep. Hey, if you liked the video so far, please hit that like button, and if you haven't already, subscribe and hit the bell so you can get further notifications of my videos. Number six, magnolia bark. Magnolia is a flowering plant that's actually been around for over a hundred million years. And if you're someone who's looking for a sleep supplement in pill form, and you'd rather not take a sedative or melatonin, then go for magnolia bark. Because like California poppy and kava kava, you don't need a big dose of it. Magnolia is so effective at promoting drowsiness, it is not advisable to take it during daytime or when driving a vehicle. Its sedative effect is likely attributed to the compound honochial, which is found in abundance in the magnolia plant. It's important to note that while magnolia bark shows promising sleep results, if you're on other medications, consult your doctor first before taking magnolia bark. Number five, passion flower. Considered best for waking up in the middle of the night. One study in 40 healthy adults found that those who drank passion flower tea daily for one week reported significantly better sleep quality than the participants who did not drink the tea. Another study compared a combination of passion flower, valerian root, and hops to Ambien, a medication commonly prescribed to treat insomnia. The results showed that the passion flower combination was as effective as Ambien at improving sleep quality. Number four, lemon. Balm. Lemon balm is considered the best herb at promoting calm and relaxation. Evidence shows that lemon balm increases GABA levels, which means that lemon balm can act as a sedative. Lemon balm can easily be taken as an extract or a tea. Research shows that taking lemon balm twice daily for 15 days helped people with insomnia. And one 2006 study found that children who took lemon balm experienced a 70 to 80% improvement in their sleep-related problems. I like those numbers. More lemon balm, please! Thanks. Number three, lavender. <laughs> of course, like, oh my god, everyone knows lavender is good for sleep. Well, did you know that lavender isn't a sedative like many of the herbs on this list? But it is considered one of the best herbs to help you relax and prepare your mind and body for a quality session of sleepy time.
A study of 67 women with insomnia found that after 20 minutes of lavender inhalation just twice a week for 12 weeks, the women had reductions in heart rate and heart variability as well as improvements in their sleep. Research also shows that Selexan, a proprietary lavender oil preparation, may decrease anxiety and improve sleep quality in the people with anxiety or anxiety-related disorders. Lavender is considered very safe when taken in proper amounts. Though as with every herb, pregnant women need to be very careful and not have too much lavender. Number 2. Valerian Root Considered one of the best for calming a racing mind. Historically, valerian was used in England during World War II to help relieve stress and anxiety caused by air raids. You can find valerian in capsule or liquid form. Valerian root is also commonly used as a tea. A study in 128 people found that those who received 400 milligrams of liquefied valerian root reported a decrease in the time it took them to fall asleep, as well as an overall improved sleep quality. A study supplementing with 600 milligrams of dried valerian root daily for 28 days exerted similar effects to those taking 10 milligrams of oxapam, a medication prescribed to treat insomnia. Now it is possible that valerian can interfere with certain medications. It's also not considered very safe for children or women during pregnancy. Unfortunately, many of the studies that have been performed on valerian root have been loaded with errors. And they say this makes it really difficult to say for sure that valerian helps with insomnia. But it does. Screw that bad research. Honorable mentions! Jujube seed, Corydalis, wild lettuce, blue skullcap, nutmeg, ashwagandha, St. John's wort, bacopa, and CBD oil. And the number one herb for sleep, chamomile. And the big daddy of the top 10 herbs for sleep has to be chamomile. And for one, it has the least side effects of any of the herbs on this list. Unless you're allergic to herbs in the ragweed arena, in which case, sorry, you're probably allergic to chamomile. Secondly, not only can it relax you, but chamomile works as a mild tranquilizer. Eek! That's not scary. It's not. It's actually good. There are numerous studies on both chamomile tea and chamomile extract to help back up its illustrious sleep-inducing power. One study found that 10 of its 12 patients fell into a deep sleep after having chamomile tea. Some experts say further research is needed. Oh, come on, how much f Sorry about that. But really, let's give chamomile its due, as most of the research out there on chamomile is very positive. And that is the truth. And that, my friends, is the top 10 herbs for sleep. What do you think of the herbs that made the list? Is there something else that you think should have made the top 10? Please let me know in the comment section down below. If you want to learn more amazing herbal benefits, then you should watch the top 15 herbs for anxiety next, or the benefits of lavender tea next. Please be kind, take care of each other, and I hope these herbs can help you get a full night of rejuvenating sleep.